So we can open this software. Let's go ahead and drag this up. Um, So let's go ahead. Who wants who wants who wants to see what turtle what turtle do you want to see? Do you want to see Leo? Do you want to see Ralph? Uh Michelangelo or Donatello? <laughs> let's see if anyone's gonna vote. Yeah, which which scan do you want George to share to show there? <laughs> you can pop up, can pop up in the comment room. Yeah. Okay, should we should we just move on? Which one do you wanna do? Uh, just choose one of your. Favorite. What's your vote? Okay, well let's go with uh, let let's go with uh, Donatello. All right. That's great. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Here we go. Oh wait, I chose. I think I chose the wrong file. Whoops. Let me go ahead and uh, there you go. This is the one. Oh, actually, you know, it, this is going to take a while. So I'm going to kill it real quick. Let's see how long it takes. No, it's going to take too long. I chose the wrong file. Let me go ahead and. Uh, close it real quick and reopen it. Okay. Here we go. Reset, restart. So this is Chitu box. This is the, the 3d printing software that I use. It's, it's, I think it's free to use. Um, actually, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. But, um, oh, it came, it came, I think I, I think I, I know why, why I said it's free. It's because it came with the 3D printer that I bought, which was frozen. Um, so yeah, Chitu Box is very, very practical, uh, software. It's, uh, very easy to use. And, uh, I'm going to show you, um, Donatello real quick. I think we have five minutes left. I think we might go over a little bit. Okay, there you go. There you go, much quicker. Okay, great. So as you can see, here are all the pieces um, of um, Donatello, all split with supports added. And um, this is just very, um, pretty much how it looks after adding the the supports so the things to keep in mind when uh 3d printing is that you don't want to one tip i mean one personal tip is that you don't want to print uh solid pieces you want to hollow your 3d prints in order to save material and and, and cost right so uh the beautiful the beautiful thing about uh this uh, software is that it lets you let's, let me let me go ahead and uh, remove these supports it lets you hollow your your pieces and it's actually pretty quick it doesn't take time at all as you can see as i as i go up and down on the slicer that the base has been hollowed the arms has been hollowed the only pieces that are solid is the only piece the only piece that is solid is the ban bandana as you could tell right here, which is uh, right. You want that to be a solid piece because it's very small and you know, it, it's really not worth a uh, um, hollowing. It would make it brittle too. So how after hollowing consider uh, creating holes. So the holes are important in order for all that uncured resin to uh, be able to, uh, you know, pour down those holes because if you don't hollow your piece, it also might create a after be, besides pulling uncured resin inside your model, 
it might make your model uh, a grenade. No, just kidding. It's not. It might blow up. <laughs> not like a grenade, but um, it might crack because uh, these uh, three printing resins are have a lot of fumes and gases that can uh, create pressure inside your model. So it might cause some cracking in your in your print. So add those holes in there and uh, you can add holes by just clicking here, dig hole, and then add a hole and just boom, it'll give you one hole. And you can adjust the size of the hole just by going up over here and, you know, adding those holes right there. So then it's, you know, able to drain out. Um, hollowing. It's a simple process. You import your model. It's going to be a solid piece. Uh, you can calculate what's the wall thickness. I think two millimeter is great. And in, um, I use grit 3D just to add a little bit more of just support structure inside your model. And then infill density, that's going to be the density of that grid. That will um, that will be 10% because, um, again, this this piece it's um already has uh, plenty of just structure that can hold on itself the only piece that i added just a teeny bit more density in terms of grid was the base because the base i know it's going to have pressure right when you put that piece and you don't want a, a base kind of warping when you're putting a piece on it so uh having that extra support really really helps um have that piece nice and solid and how to add supports very simple just go to the supports tab as you can see right here in the thumbnail and then choose what kind of supports you want you want light medium or heavy i personally go with heavy all the time just because you don't want supports uh, failing and and loosening as you're printing your 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 project so I make sure you get heavy and I don't use uh, raft. I remove the raft because raft, I, I don't think it's necessary. It's it's like a base that um, you can see it right here. See, it's, it's like a skateboard that holds the print and helps it uh, be a little bit more stable and stick better to the uh, print platform, but you really don't need. I just choose none and then I just go all and that will, um, you know, compute and then create the supports immediately right there. So the supports are not perfect. They're not, you know, they're not flawless. There are still some areas that would, that would need support and it's up to you to find those areas. So for example, uh, these toes, they definitely need a little bit more supports and just by clicking, um, and on those areas, it will add those supports. So for example, I noticed I was having issues on one of the prints and Donatello, it was missing supports on the chin. So I added just a few more in there. And also a good way to see where you need supports is just by going up and down the slider. And when you usually see like an eye, it's called an island, which are pieces are floating pieces. Like for example, Right here, these are called islands. These would need supports, right? But you can see that the computer took care of those, which is good. You can see here's another island. So you can see it has plenty of supports, which is good. So keep in mind those islands. Uh, the chin is a major island that was causing me issues. You could see that there's uh, could could have a little bit more supports here. So you could just click there. Add a few more, doesn't hurt. And the beauty about these supports is that they just come off very easy once the print is done and then you, could sand, you can sand it off and, uh, and then, you know, glue it all together and have fun with your print. So if you wanna see pictures of my 3D prints, I have those on my Instagram. Um, and I also have a couple of reels where it shows me, um, you know, the entire process, scanning, modeling, 
uh, 3D printing and then putting them together and then seeing the seeing it next to the clay model. So I have to, I I shared those on my Instagram. Um, if you're curious.